what is the most beautiful idea you've learned about artificial intelligence, knowledge, reasoning from uh, working on psych for 37 years? Or maybe what is the most beautiful idea, surprising idea about psych to you? When I look up at the stars, I kind of want like that, that amazement you feel that, wow. And you are a part of creating one of the greatest, one of the most fascinating efforts in artificial intelligence history. So which element brings you personally joy? This may sound contradictory, but I, <laughs> I think it's the feeling that this will be the only time in history that anyone ever has to teach a computer mm. this particular thing that we're now teaching it. It's, it's like painting Starry Night. You, you only have to do that once or creating the Pieta. You only have to do that once. You know, it's not, it's not like a, it's not like a singer who has to keep, you know, it's not like Bruce Springsteen having to, to sing his greatest hits over and over again <laughs> at different concerts. It's more like a painter creating a work of art once and then that's enough. It doesn't have to be created again. And so I really get the sense of we're telling the system things that it's useful for it to know. It's useful for a computer to know, for an AI to know. And if we do our jobs right, when we do our jobs right, no one will ever have to do this again for this particular piece of knowledge. It's very, very exciting. Yeah, I guess there's a sadness to it too. It's like uh, there's a magic to being a parent and raising a child and teaching them all about this world. But, you know, there's billions of children, right? Like born or whatever, whatever that number is, it's a large number number of children and a lot of parents get to experience that joy of teaching. And <laughs> with AI systems, you know, uh, they, at least the current constructions, they remember. <laughs> You don't you don't get to experience the joy of teaching um, a machine millions of times. Better come work for us before it's too late. Then <laughs> exactly, <laughs> that's a good <laughs> that's a good hiring pitch. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, it's true. But then there's also you know, it's a project that continues forever in some sense, just like Wikipedia. Yes, you get to a stable base of knowledge, but knowledge grows, knowledge evolves. We we learn as a human. Um, you know, as a human species, as science, as an organism constantly grows and evolves and changes and then empower that with the tools of artificial intelligence. And that's going to keep growing and growing and growing. And many of the, the assertions that you held previously uh, may need to be significantly expanded, modified, all those kinds of things. So it could be like a living organism versus a the analogy I think we started this conversation with, which is like the solid ground. The, the other beautiful experience that we have with our system is when it asks clarifying questions, which inadvertently turn out to be emotional to us. Uh -huh. So at one point it knew that these were the named entities who were authorized to make changes to the knowledge base and so on. And it noticed that all of them were people except for it, because it was also allowed to. And so it said, you know, am I a person? And we had to like tell it you know, very sadly, uh, no, <laughs> you're not. So the moments like that where it asks questions that are unintentionally poignant uh, are, uh, are are worth treasuring. Ah, oh, that is powerful.